ABC 7 business commentator Richard Stern joins us now. And Richard, the records just continue to keep falling on Wall Street. Scott, there's an old Wall Street adage, the trend is your friend. And let me say the trend for 2017 has been our friend, and it certainly continued today. Record closes again for all three indices that we follow, and the Standard & Poor's 500 index intraday was at 2,600 for the first time. The Dow Industrials were up by 100 points in the first 30 seconds of trading this morning, and were up by more than 180 points at the high. All in all, a terrific Tuesday. Let's take a look and see what the numbers look like. The Dow Jones Industrial Average up 160 points. That's a record 23,590.83, a gain of 7 tenths of 1% on volume of 742 million shares. The NASDAQ, yes indeed, look at that. 6862.48, a record up 72 points, more than 1%, that on volume of 1,848,000,000 shares. And the S&P? Look at that, almost 2,600, up 17 points, more than six-tenths of 1%. Records all around and no complaints here. Well, speaking of no complaints, how about news on a retailer that actually has an upbeat report? Yes, indeed. Who likes to go to the dollar store? I like to go to the dollar store. Well, apparently, I am not alone. Dollar Tree, which is the largest company in this country in the dollar business with over 13,000 stores, today said its earnings for the quarter and its revenues for the quarter came in well ahead of Wall Street expectations. Same store sales were up by 3.3%. And when things only cost a dollar, that's an awful lot of merchandise. And as I say, 13,600 stores, they also own Family Dollar. So I don't know about you, but... I kind of like going to the dollar store. I walk out with two or three things I didn't need, but I had fun doing it. So what the heck? Certainly the truth on that one. Now, I understand, Richard, you have some news on Campbell's Soup as well. Yeah, it's not mm, good. It's mm, bad, unfortunately. Its shares fell by 8% today after the company, just the opposite of what we just heard, failed to hit the bottom line, earnings and total volume. Bottom line, not a good day for Campbell's Soup. 8% down, not pretty at all. I need to buy more tomato soup, I guess. I think you're right. It's this. almost that time. It's getting a little colder with some grilled cheese. That's right. Exactly. All right, Richard, thank you so much. You're very welcome.